was hula hoops, hats, a few huffs and puffs, actually. Last night's Dancing on Ice was on fire. Na, 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 come on! Na, 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 come on! Na, na, na. Hey, prop, hat. Can't blame it on the hat. I really hope that people at home can see the amazing things that you're achieving. The butterflies weren't angry, they were just sad. Completely ridiculous, but it was charming. Oh, and only just missing out on a place in the semi-finals, Jeff and Isabel. Welcome to you both. I'm gonna Thank miss you. Jason. <laughs> uh, <laughs> really well. You'll see him in here. Um, but you, you just said, actually, waking up this morning, you just had the best sleep you've had in a long time. Yeah, it's positive to obviously still being here would have been great to have been in the semi-finals, but um, to have skated in the skate off the way we did, mm. I think like, I feel very proud. I don't know how you feel. Of course. Um, but as well as to go out to Sam Atwater, I think I knew I was in trouble when it was him and I in the skate off. But I probably would have um, had the same fate if it was me against Laura or me against Chloe. So. It was all about trying to avoid the skate off, yeah. and, I, and I didn't do that. So the first performance was the was the one that you were you were quite disappointed with yeah. yourself in that that the first first time. Although it was to, the big lifts were terrific, as yeah, we said on the night. Yeah. It was just the little extras that were a little stumbly, weren't they? The, the, the silly little things that you take for granted. But um, all week the routine had been great, and it, I knew it was going to be my best week. Um, but in the dress rehearsal, I, I caught my toe when I let Isabel under the table. And, and then, really strange, but my um, laces snapped in one of my boots. My boot fell open. I kind of oh. carried on. But it was like, oh, that wasn't the best dresser. And I think it niggled me yeah. because the, the old nerves were back that you saw in the first couple of shows. Yeah. And, and that's what you get when your legs are a bit stiff. But you did come back out and you came out fighting. And that last performance was perfect. Yeah, it was the best it? one I've I mean, ever up done. against anyone else, I mean, you would have had a very, very good chance with yeah. that, I think. But this is why I can sit here very happy, to be honest, yeah. is because I went out on a, in style, if you like, you know, yeah. so I, I can completely accept that. Although you say he had more to give, the timing was wrong. Here. I think so, like, at least another week, because, like, I knew how much, like, potential he had. So I was just like, it's frustrating a little bit, yeah. but I mean, how you would have done a lovely game? bolero because that's sort of the skating. It's yeah. not about the lifts sort or of the spins or anything like that. Yeah. It would have been all about the edges, and we would have done. A well, what about the challenge? Time. So, uh, so the, the challenge that uh, that everyone was assembled on the ice uh, what after is it? the show last night. Do you still not know? No, I haven't got. Ooh, a I know. I'll tell you now. <laughs> so, um, so Torval and Dean uh, took uh, took everyone onto the ice last night, and they're about to face their toughest challenge uh, never before attempted on Dancing on Ice. And, uh, and what they were actually told is that they've got to skate alone. Um, and this is a full routine that they can choreograph themselves. They organise their own projections on the ice. They're given professional skaters so they can use the professional skaters as they choose. Um, so you can be lifted by them or you can skate with them. So they, they will then do the whole thing themselves and then present it to, to Jane and Chris who will see whether or not that's you know, so something that they can do or that, whether it needs any tweaks. Yeah. But that, and Johnson apparently said, yes, I'm ready, I'm down with that. Um, others looked a little bit scared and worried, although Johnson is now looking forward to it. Sam wants to go all out, wants to skate naked distra to distract everyone, apparently. <laughs> uh, oh, wow. Laura showed no real emotion there. She kept all her thoughts to mm. herself, and Chloe apparently is quite scared. About it. Yeah. So how would you would you have liked to have skated uh, solo? Uh, my initial reaction was would have been sheer terror at the idea of it. But saying that, I mean, this week is kind of a good example because we're forever changing things in our routines. You get the choreography, yeah. obviously takes mm. Chris and Jane two hours to do, mm. and then you go away and, and we're thinking about it day in day out. And so naturally, there are things that kind of just evolve. And what you saw on Sunday night was quite different to what was set initially. So actually. You know, I'm forever thinking of new ideas, aren't I? And yeah. what if we do this? And what so if we you'd try quite, that? Quite like to have given Probably that one a go. Like, and again, it's it's you're putting yourself out. You're not just doing the skating and the performing, but you've actually done it from mm. scratch. So um, it will be really rewarding for the people that do get into the final because they can say that they've really earned it. Do you think? I mean, obviously, like yesterday, props mix things up a bit. Do you reckon them skating solo is going to mix things up again? Who do you think will sort of? 
be able to do the best at that. Oh well, yeah, well, with the props, it's like IKEA on ice. I've got a kitchen table, and I've got some <laughs> chairs, office chairs. So, but what can you do with that? But yeah, I mean that's that'll be forgotten by everyone. Everyone yeah. moves on very quickly. I mean, someone will be getting choreography from Jane and Chris as we speak. So. Um, with regards to doing them, so who will survive better, who will cope better? Well, let's go through them. Let's, let's, let's talk about uh, Sam. So Sam, uh, he, uh, he's got to, uh, to, to skate on his own. Yeah. Um, so so uh, you know each other yeah. very, very well. Nicely everybody gets on, which is good. Well, he's so, put me out, so hasn't he? He's put, he's <laughs> put you out, so we'll do him um, first. But he's an excellent skater, though. Sam is so good, like very natural skating. So The best skating ability really and uh, obviously a, a lifetime of experience of performing. Um, Yet he seems to be slipping down the leaderboard, and the judges have. I don't know whether they've got something against him. Yeah, I don't know it's what the judges' it is. influence. He hasn't really skated differently, but it's amazing how a few comments can really yeah. change the public's perception of how he's doing, when in reality yeah, he's, he's just got carried got, on he's doing got really a lot well. To prove well, this there was, week, of course, Hatgate uh, last night, which we, which we do have here. It's a completely different hat that we've rehearsed for the week. Um, the other one was very flimsy, and then that was obviously very stiff. Hey, prop, hat. Can't blame it on the hat. You know what I mean? You practice, practice, practice with what you get, and I'm sorry that you dropped it, but you dropped it. It's not that I'm blaming. No, but it, there's no, there's no, there's no excuse. You dropped your pop. There's How did no one tell Jason to keep his hair on? I mean, that was just begging for someone to say you kind of. Well, I got close. Wait, you did. Yeah. <laughs> I hinted. No, I didn't want to because I thought well, he's going to he's going to decide my fate in about half. <laughs> no, exactly. You don't want him to turn on you. Let's talk about Chloe then. She had a great night last night. It seems whatever she turns her hand to, Chloe, whatever challenges are set, she just does it. She, she does surprised it us uh, in the early stages. I mean, yeah. we we learned at Lee Valley from day one. So I've been skating with Chloe for for six months now, and um, she was the one most likely to actually lose her head and and feel like she couldn't do it and tell herself that everything was rubbish. Um, but yet, for the last few weeks, she's she been came so a consistent. Long way. She like gained so much confidence. Like since you yeah. watch her, she doesn't think about her feet at all, does she? You could see she just—it's so second nature to her now. Yeah, that she's, she's got not... complete trust in yeah. Michael, and and that really comes across. I get when the judges say that sometimes. There are beautiful partnerships with her. Michael was one of my favourite skaters to you know in terms of professionals. Um, lovely, lovely guy. What and about really Johnson? Helpful. Yeah, Johnson, you know, he's, he's obviously, everyone knows, I say, he's the weakest skater out of the four, but he works just as hard as anybody else. He's had to contend with the broken fingers um, and probably more than anyone else. So he deserves his place there. Um, I, I would have uh, rather had him in the, in the skate off than, than Sam. I would have fa yeah. far fancied my chances, yeah. but um, yeah. far better. But, but regardless, he deserves to be there because he, he had a really um, faultless routine now. And, and Laura? Finally, Laura. And Laura is, oh, is Laura. fearless. <laughs> yeah, we do love Laura and Colin. Um, and she's always great at performing the routine. So I've tried to kind of copy her in some ways because the face throughout, she's playing that role. And that's she what does, I really she? wanted to try and learn out of And I've got to ask you as well, because when I spoke to you after the show last night, you said mm. the one thing you're not going to lose since doing Dancing on Ice is your new muscles that you've got. Um, I, I need to <laughs> keep on it. of it. <laughs> Honestly, I don't want to go back to the days where I'm looking at that thinking, oh, spare tire, we need to get down the gym. So where, where is it toned? Where is it, where does it, where uh, my body it shape completely like, changed. Like, yeah. Get oh, I've, arms now. A lot. I've never been in such good shape as what I am now. I'm desperate not to lose it. Uh, <laughs> Get out of the gym keep... after this. Well, are you do, are you are you doing a little bit of the tour, aren't you? You're joining for uh, for five shows in Birmingham and Newcastle. Uh, 12th yeah. and the 13th of April in Newcastle. Got to and, learn the bolero uh, as well. Got to learn yeah. the bolero, so we'll get oh, to nice. do that. We'll do a lovely bolero. Good. Well, well, sure we should do the whole for tour. Me, <laughs> for me, that would be great. For yeah. me, that would be terrific. Oh yeah, for me, yeah. I'd like that too. For me. That yeah. seems to be the word of the moment. You might have to explain, you Yeah, we'll I'm explain. So it's for me. For me. For me. There you go. You just heard a bit of it then. Now have a look. <laughs> so for me. For me. For me. Because you did two brilliant jumps for me. But for me. For me. For me. Steps lost it a little bit for me. It's for me. And a little bit for me. For me. But I think for me, the good, what was nice was. For me, for me tonight. For me, you needed more groove in your move. For me, I'm extremely pleased with that. <laughs> For me. Oh, it's all me, 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 isn't it, with those judges? And uh, one little bit of gossip from last night. We had the overtones as our uh, house band. Yeah. And uh, um, Timmy, who's, uh, who's one of the singers, um, was so uh, highly elevated in the fact that their performances have been very successful. Mm. He was so euphoric 
uh, and so thrilled that he was singing as he walked into his dressing room only to realize that it was actually Karen's dressing room oh. that he walked into <laughs> and she was just standing there as he walked in and thought what do I do no she was dressed I was gonna say <laughs> um, naked barber. so uh, yes. so uh, so he thought what shall I do and he just said um so uh, will you be in the bar later on <laughs> <laughs> Yes, yes, I will. Good, good, good. And he went out and shut <laughs> the door. Sweet. There you go. Guys, uh, thank you so much. One for last big, big thank you to Isabel. Big because thank you, you to you. Oh. Made the experience <laughs> what it was. Great four months. Thank yeah. you very much. Well so done, lovely. guys. Thank you both. Thanks. Good times. Right, it's competition time.